Welcome back to the channel guys. Today I'm going to show you how to catch fish on Pitt Street Pier in Mount Pleasant, South Carolina. If this is something that interests you, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. That's going to help my channel grow. I appreciate all you guys. Now, without further ado, cue the drone. So in this video, most of the fish I'm catching are going to be on either a live mud minnow or live mullet. So here you can see I'm just taking the circle hook through the top part of the mud minnow's head and I'm going to have it on a cork with a leader of about two to three feet depending on what the oh, tide no. is. So here I'm fishing under the bridge. You have to wait out onto the sandbar and then walk over to do it. Um, it's a good spot if you're willing to get wet. It's a great place to fish when there's some big fish hiding underneath the pier. Here I'm actually stuck into a crab trap, which is another issue of fishing at Pitt Street. In the crab net too. Come on. Just let me see what it is. Huge flounder, holy cow. I'll make sure you get your trap back. Yeah. Oh my God. Holy cow. That is a absolute monster. Oh. Sorry about that. So here's the other way that I'll fish Pitt Street. It's just a braid to leader setup with a split shot on the leader. <laughs> Man, this is the same one I lost earlier. Holy cow, what a doormat. I mean, we are at low, low tide. I caught the, the nice flounder about an hour ago I'd say so it's gonna be tough there's no water moving in and out right now so here's how you want to fish if you're fishing underneath the pier you want to throw all the way to the other side and just bring it through the middle in those deep pockets it's nice and slow This is the sandbar that I'm talking to you guys about. All right, so you're gonna have to get in the water and cross over there. Now the sandbar is gonna open up two different fishing spots for you. You can see the oyster beds, also, and also you can see below the bridge. Now these are gonna be easy to fish and you can do it the same way. What I'm gonna do at this time is I'm gonna run a leader about two to three foot and put a really small split shot on there with a circle hook or a J hook. And if I can, I'm gonna cast net live mullet. If I don't have that, I'm gonna go ahead and buy some mud minnows or set my trap for mud minnows here. You can catch mud minnows right there. All right, you can catch a mullet all here in this area. It's not a bad I mean, he ain't bad, I mean, he's short though. When you first get on the pier to your left, you're gonna see all these really shallow flat areas. This is a perfect place to catch a bunch of short flounder.
So right here along this island is the other spot that you guys are gonna wanna fish. And the fishing you're gonna see on the video is good from all the way in this point, all the way out. And you're gonna wanna follow the current, whether it's coming in or going out, it's gonna make a big difference. There we go, there's a decent trip fish. Good sized trout right there. It's a speckled trout. Nice. Not exactly. Not exactly how you draw it up, but he's a keeper. So out here. Yeah. So On the fall. Got him on the fall. Got that thing right on the fall. When I'm trying to catch redfish off the pier, I'm going to try to fish in between the pilings, just like if you're trying to fish a dock. I've had the most luck catching redfish at Pitt Street, either in the month of October or in late summer. So on low tide, I'm going to stay between the pilings and just try to get into the deep holes and pockets that's left over. Um, you're still going to find a bunch of redfish there. But on high tide, I'm going to go ahead and fish right against the grass as much as I can, especially to the left of the pier. Where the current is, is gonna make a big difference for reds where if there's more current, you're gonna find usually find trout and then the reds are gonna to try to avoid it and stay off the slack part of the current. different spots. I have no idea what that is. Comment down below Here. if you know what's on his tail. Help me out with that. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. A lot of fun to make this one. I fish there quite often. It took me a little bit to figure it out, but it can be really be a great fishing spot if you take the time to work the tides in those couple different spots that I showed you. Remember, like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you next Friday.